Number six, in a two-dimensional tug of war, Alex, Beth and Charles pull horizontally on an automobile tire at the angles show in the overhead view of this figure over here. The tire remains stationary in spite of the three pulls. Alex pulls with a force of magnitude 220 newtons and Charles pulls with force of magnitude 170 newtons. Note that the direction of FC is not given. What is the magnitude of Bet's force FB? So first let us draw our coordinate system. Let's say that this is our x direction and this is our y direction. We know that Bet pulls downwards, so FB should be downwards as well. We know that FA is something like this. We know this angle over here, this angle is 100 and 37 degrees, right? So this angle over here should be 47 degrees. And this angle over here, which we will call it alpha, is equal to 133 degrees. So this is the angle alpha. We also have FC over here and we will call this angle gamma and we don't know the value of gamma. We know that the tire is stationary so its acceleration is equal to zero and we know from Newton's second law that the sum of the forces which is mass times acceleration and in this case this is zero as well. So the sum of the forces is zero. And we can analyze each component uh, at one time. We don't have to analyze everything at once. So let's analyze the x component first. So in the x direction, we have the, the x component of Fc, which is Fc cosine of gamma, plus the x component of Fa, which is Fa cosine of alpha, and this is equal to zero. And we also, that's it in the x direction. For the y direction, we have the y component of Fc, which is Fc sine of gamma, plus the y component of Fa, which is Fa sine of alpha minus Fb because Fb points downwards. So we want this value to be positive. So we have to introduce the negative sign over here. So we have the system of two different equations. Let's first find out what we don't know. We don't know gamma. We know alpha. Alpha is 133 degrees and we don't know Fb. So we have two different things that we don't know and we have two different equations, so we can solve the system. So first let's, let's work with this equation over here and let's try to find the gamma's value over here. So using this equation, let's isolate cosine of gamma first. Cosine of gamma is equal to minus Fa times cosine of alpha divided by Fc. And we know that gamma, so we, we want the angle, so gamma is the inverse function of the cosine, cosine to the minus 1 of minus Fa cosine of alpha over Fc, and this gives us 28 degrees. So now we know gamma over here and all we have to do is isolate fb in this equation over here so fb is equal to fc sine of gamma plus fa sine of alpha and just replacing the letters by the numbers we can find that this is equal to 200 and 41 newtons. Remember that Fc is equal to 170 newtons. Gamma is 28 degrees. Fa 
is equal to 220 newtons and alpha is 133 degrees and then if you replace this you would find 241 newtons